this segment we are going to look at Euler's method. So let's consider a question. We have a function fx and uh, the derivative is uh, given which is x squared plus 3x and we know that the function value uh, when x is 2 is 10. It says determine the function value at 5 using a step size of 1. Now keep in mind we are going to get an approximate value in this case. We are going to use Euler's command on the calculator. Now before I use the Euler's command I just need to explain what is each one of them. So as you can see that's the complete syntax for the Euler's command. So we've got the actual equation there which is x squared plus 3x and then the two variables are x and y. Now this is the initial value that we are given when, when x is 2 y is 10. So the initial value for y goes outside and this 5 is the target value. So we are going from 2 to 5. So those come in curly brackets. So that's important to remember. Now the step size is another crucial thing to remember. Now in this case I have chosen 1 as the step size and the Euler's step size by default is 1. The actual step size is the chosen step which is 1 divided by all Euler's step size. So let's click the book menu. Double click that and now what we need to do is enter the equation which was x square plus 3x and comma now the two variables so we put the first variable x comma y and now what we need to do is go and put the curly brackets so to get the curly brackets I click there and within the curly brackets I put the initial x value which was 2 for me comma uh, my target value is 5 so I'm putting 5 there I tab out comma and uh, when x was 2 y is 10 so I go and put that value as 10 and I'm going to put the step size as 1 and Euler's step is 1 so the ratio is still 1 and this gives me the approximate value of the function at 5 is 66. Now I'm just going to copy that and I'll change the step size for both to 3. So the ratio over here still is 3 divided by 3 and hopefully I should get the same value but what you will observe it will skip the intermediate values from 2 it will go to 5 and you can see that Let's now look at the same question but this time we'll actually do a step size of 0 0.1 and this should give us a more uh, closer value to the exact value. We are still trying to determine the function value at 5 so we'll use a step size of 0 0.1. So we're going to do the same thing. I'll copy this and I'll just, so I've just copied this and I'm going to paste this and uh, so our step size is now 0 0.1 and I'm leaving that as 1 so the ratio is 0 0.1 over 1 which is still 0 0.1 and it gives me the value. Now I have to scroll right till the end to get the value of 5 and which is 79.005. So I'm going to copy this and let's see how we can actually get the same answer. So I'm going to change that to 1 there and I'll change that to 10. So the ratio still is 1 on 10 which is 0.1. But now what you see I've actually got the answer in fewer steps. So the value still is 79.005. So we'll now try to get the same thing uh, graphically so we're going to use the graphing screen. So if I go control menu and then if I go to differential equations which is number 8. Now all I need to do is type in my equation there which is x square plus 3x and then I need to type in my initial condition. So when x was 2 y was 10. Now if I click here it says uh, the step size, the iterations. Now what that means is that's 1 over 10. If I make that as 2, it will be 0 0.1 over 2. That's uh, how it works. So uh, what this really at the moment means is my step size by default is 0 0.1 if I leave it at 1. So let's do that and uh, I'll go there. Now if I go to menu and if I trace, graph trace, you can see I've got these values. Now if I start going to, uh, yeah, if I go up to 5 it should uh, you'll see it keeps uh, adjusting the window size I don't have to do anything and uh, when I get to 5 
it should give me the value as uh, 79 point 005 that's what I had I can actually get this quickly by just doing control T and it puts a table there and you can see the value at 5 is 79.05 so control T puts a table and control 6 will actually put the table in uh, on another screen so now if I go there you can see the table is on another screen